Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Jordan Mowbray and today we're going to be testing the DJI Mavic Pro 2's tracking abilities in ActiveTrack 2.0 and the obstacle avoidance system when I go walking down this trail here. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Alright, let's go ahead and get this bird up in there and see how this obstacle avoidance works. Alright, I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but I'm going to go over here to the mode, choose active track. Now I'm going to tilt the camera down a little bit. You can see it's picking me up there, but I'm going to draw a box around myself. It's found me, and now just hit go, and now we should be tracking. So let's go ahead and see how it works. Alright, see it's trying to follow along behind me. It's going to be going underneath that tree right there. It's a good test because there's a lot of uh, low hanging tree branches that it has to go under and can't really go above them. So, see how it does under those, see if it clips any. Oh, so see right there, it lost me behind that tree branch, but that is actually still trying to track me um, with the new DJI Mavic Pro. It tries to actually see what direction you're going in and keep tra tracking you. Um, Look at that, that's pretty cool. It went through that little narrow spot there in those tree branches and is still able to track me. Now it's got to go down underneath those tree branches. It's going to go around those ones and go back up to the height that I started it at. definitely a huge improvement over the first rendition of the DJI Mavic Pro in active track. Um, we do have a storm moving in so hopefully I can go ahead walk down this trail a little bit further before that pushes through and I have to stop this test but so far so good. I'm very pleased with how it actually goes underneath trees and those top obstacle avoidance sensors definitely are working great and able to pick up um, branches above it. Be interested to see if uh, when I walk through the other side of this trail if it picks up um, tree branches that don't have leaves on it. I know when I was messing around with it yesterday, it was able to pick up a post that was only about an inch and a half in a diameter, and it was able to see that and avoid that perfectly fine. So this area that I'm walking into up here is a little bit um, darker lit, so we'll see how it does tracking me through this area. Wow. That's pretty cool. I went through that little narrow opening, only maybe five feet in diameter, and was still able to track me. Uh, if I was flying this thing myself, I probably couldn't have did that maneuver, so pretty cool. We'll be able to see how the gimbal stabilization is through that maneuver as well, since I'm, I'm recording it on the remote right now, and definitely not making any corrections to this. Really pleased seeing how it's actually doing in this low light area. Not too many tree branches up here, but definitely a lot of trees that it has to go around. We have a storm moving in here, so I'm gonna try filming this real quick and getting a few different scenarios done to see how this active track works um, before the rain moves in. A little tree branch there that it's going around. Went right over the top of those. See if I head up here and go around this tree if it's actually going to track me right around the other side of the tree. I want to try to have it force it to go right around that tree and track me. Still see it there. All right, so now it lost me behind the tree, but picked up perfectly fine as soon as I came around the other side of that tree. So everything's working great. Um, Let's see how fast it can do active track. Uh, let me do a little bit of a jog here down this trail. See if it's able to still pick me up. Went around those tree branches perfectly fine. It's keeping up pretty good. 
even doing the obstacle avoidance. We'll see how it does when I come up to these tree branches that it maneuvered around last time now. See if it goes underneath them or loses me here. Went right underneath them. Only about two foot off the ground there, but still tracking me fine. Oh, we got a few raindrops coming down now, so finish walking up the rest of the trail. See what kind of maneuvers it does. But I'm uh, definitely really pleased with this obstacle boy and it's 2.0. I can feel completely fine without even controlling it that I know that it's not gonna crash into anything. Some low hanging branches up here, so we'll see if it goes underneath those. Knew that it wasn't going to be able to track me going over the top of those tree branches, so went right underneath them. Tried going back up into that area, but knew there was some more coming up, so it stayed underneath them. And another area here that it's going to have to go underneath. All right, it handled that, no problem. Let's give this a little bit more of a challenge and let's hot head and let's head through uh, some of these pine trees here. See if it can keep up through a little bit more thicker brush, some tree branches that don't really have any leaves on them. Uh, looks like I stumped it. So there's a little opening there between those trees. It doesn't think it can go through. So it's still tracking me. And we'll see if it goes through this opening here. Yep, went right through that opening. Still able to keep tracking me, so it did follow me through on this side. Now let's see if we can head out the front of this. And head around this side of these trees. Yep, tracked me through that perfectly fine. Now, I think if you were running through that, it probably would have had a little bit more harder time tracking you through that. Um, moving nice and slow, definitely doesn't have an issue. Going down a hill now, going through some thick trees, see if it's able to keep up in here. These trees are pretty close together, so see if it's able to maneuver through those pretty easy I think I have a, a challenge that I don't think it will be able to pass I think if I go in this cornfield next door I don't think it's gonna be able to track me through that so let's head on out over to this cornfield oh see it lost me at this tree here it doesn't think that it's able to go around it to the side but it's still tracking me it did make it around there fine so it just got stumped a little bit there sure beats crashing into something though so definitely happy with that all right let's just go in this cornfield about one row and try walking down it So far, came pretty close to that pine tree. Nope, it's lost me in the pine tree. All right, rain's starting to really come down now, so I'm gonna go ahead in this flight. See if I could take it up here and uh, land it in this opening and take it inside. But very impressed with the DJI Mavic Pro's tracking abilities and ActiveTrack 2.0 and the obstacle avoidance on this thing. 
I definitely have no problem trusting this and just letting it go and track on me on its own without being able to control it with the remote. Definitely everything is perfectly fine. See the rain. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this down quick so that we don't get it too wet. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.